Jenny Tapp right behind us. She's going to be on the sidelines for Penn State Iowa this afternoon. And Jenny, you get arguably the best story in all of college football. Well, it all started with a wave, a simple gesture, a way to say hello, I see you, and I'm thinking about you. When we sat down with Iowa head coach Kirk Ferentz yesterday, he said the wave isn't just the best tradition in college sports, it's the best tradition in all of sports. And for the kids at the University of Iowa, Stead Family Children's Hospital, the wave simply means everything. It's time now for a Dos Equis tradition presented by Dos Equis. I'm 16 and I love to run and be with friends and family. I've been here since pretty much June 24, diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. I've gotten chemotherapy, three rounds of it, and next I get a bone marrow transplant. He's three years old. He was born with um, dysplastic kidneys. His lungs were not developed correctly. He was born with pulmonary hypertension, high blood pressure, and the doctors were not sure that he was going to make it. University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital was built in 2017. We kind of had different dreams of spaces that kids could go and just kind of forget about why they're in the hospital. The press box is located um, on the top floor of the hospital, level 12, that overlooks the stadium. Prior to 2020, we would have an average of 80 to 100 people up here in the press box, and they're able to participate in Hawkeye football. No Hawkeyes, no Hawks. When, when you uh, really learn about the work that they do, it's just uh, really inspiring. And the, the football programs had a long, long-term interaction and partnership with the Children's Hospital. The Iowa Wave, it started prior to the 2017 season, and it was just a fan idea that just blew up on social media. We heard that the wave was going to happen after the first quarter, but it blew our minds at how much of a big deal it was. I was at the first game, and now that I get to experience it from inside, it unites us all in the hospital. People care about what we're going through. What a simple concept, yet so powerful, and the meaning of it is it's really significant. I'm really happy to see that strong living tradition. Most of them probably, you know, don't even know anybody up there, but they're all just doing it for these these kids that can't be a part of it, you know, and they're they're so sick. It makes them feel for just a moment that they're not sick. They're 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 living like normal kids. And then that reinforces in people like Natalie who turn into even greater human beings because they understand this connection that we all have with each other to do something, to go out of your way to help somebody else out. Patients and families talk about how they get goosebumps, that there's all of these people who really are showing their appreciation for them and that they care for them and that they're not fighting alone. I'm currently in remission, so that's good to go into transplant in remission. In November of last year, he got his kidney. It was a bittersweet day leaving. There were a lot of tears that day. I can't wait for the day that I can at least take him to a game. It will be ugly crying for sure. <laughs> I've had the privilege of spending some time in the press box. It simply is incredible. And unfortunately due to the pandemic, right now the press box is not at full capacity. I mean, all these kids are watching their favorite team participating in the wave from their rooms. And I promise you, we will be showing you the best tradition in all of sports, the wave live during the game later. Oh, Jenny, we were so